In today's video, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, cosmetic chemistry. I want to show you how to prepare natural pH adjust uh, tasks for organic cosmetics. So if you're making organic lotion, organic hair serum, um, organic serum, and any organic products that you don't want um, synthetic chemical in, you, I'm go you will uh, need any of this pH ad adjuster. And you can also make them at home yourself. But before you make it, make sure you wear safety goggles and make sure you wear glove enough to protect yourself. So I'm going to be preparing an alternative to try ethanol amine. Try ethanol amine is a synthetic chemical that is used in many cosmetic, you know, to help balance the pH levels of your skincare product. Okay, it also acts as a cleansing base in certain cosmetic products. So most of us that formulate natural skincare products do not use try ethanol amine as it's considered a toxic chemical in certain um, reports. So I'm going to take this aside. This is uh, now I will make the natural alternative non-toxic, you know, pH adjusters. So today I have this video on the channel, so go ahead and watch it. But if you haven't watched that video, I'm just going to do a little bit and I'm going to include a link in the description box below to reduce the, uh, to increase the pH of your lotion, your serum, you should use a lye solution, 10% lye and 90% water, which I will be preparing shortly. Then to bump up uh, to me to, Okay, that is to increase the pH is the light solution. So if you are into soap making, you should be familiar with light, the preparation of light. But I will still be showing that in this video. Then if you want to increase the pH of your solution, you can use a citric acid, okay? Uh, you can use citric acid or you can use uh, lactic acid, which is 88% uh, of lactic acid, so that's fine. But also in this video, you can use citric acid, meaning 50% citric acid added to 50% water. So let's quickly get to the formulation uh, part of it. To make your light solution, okay, you had 10% sodium hydroxide, caustic soda, okay, to 90% water. That's what makes 1090, okay. We can use this to increase the pH of our skincare product. So you're going to weigh You're going to weigh your lactic acid. Okay, be careful. Lactic acid is highly corrosive. So we're going to weigh 10% of that. We're going to be careful when working with light, highly corrosive acid. You don't want this to contact your skin. So we're going to add 90, you're going to add this, then we'll put this aside, then we will weigh 90% water in another beaker. Okay, make sure when you're preparing this, you use glass beaker. Do not use plastic beaker because it's going to erode it fast. Okay, so keep that in mind as you are preparing your solution. So I'm going to measure 90% distilled water in another beaker. I've done this before, but um, one of my students asked me to do it, so that's what I'm doing on this channel. So we're going to measure 90% water. Then you slowly add the light solution to the water solution and get ready to slowly add it okay not the other way around you mix it you have to wear your nose mask when making this okay so i'm going to take this away and uh, you're going to allow that to cool down a bit before we pour that away so that is how to make our 10 percent light solution okay then we will bottle each of them at the end then the next thing we want to make now is to make our citric acid citric acid is still is more gentle so we won't worry too much about it we're going to make 50 percent 50 50 citric acid okay this is two 
bump her, I mean to lower the pH of your skincare product. So citric acid 50 gram, distilled water 50 gram, or if you want to formulate it, just make sure it's half half. So I will measure my citric acid. Okay. <coughs> It's a less corrosive acid, so it's still it's more manageable than than sodium hydroxide. So we're going to weigh fit for because I want to make hundred gram of that solution. If you have to make maybe five hundred gram, make sure you use two fifty gram of uh, citric acid, okay, and add it to two fifty gram of water. So it's fifty fifty, whichever uh, proportion you want to use. So. I'm going to take 50 gram of citric acid. So I want you to pay close attention to this video. Make sure you watch it to the end. You're going to need this um as you formulating your skincare product if you are afraid if you don't want to use synthetic chemical in adjusting the ph or the ph of your skincare product this is uh the ph adjustment solution that you need so this is the second option okay then this is citric acid i'm going to measure 50 percent water i have 50 gram of citric acid here and i'll measure 50 gram of distilled water Then gently add it to water. Just gently add it and mix it. It doesn't emit toxic fume like sodium hydroxide. Oh, it's uh, it's going to be very cold, very very cool uh, solution. So you just have to mix it. Now you see this is the simplest cosmetic chemistry okay so as a, uh, as a natural organic uh, formulator you will need this to be adjusting the ph of your serum lotion shampoo and whatnot citric acid is more popular in adjusting the ph than lactic acid you can also use lactic acid if you have it the one I use here, I use 88% lactic acid. Okay, so if you have 88% lactic acid, you can also use it to reduce the pH. So if you touch it, it's very, very cold, just as if you put it in the fridge. That's the only difference. Make sure you mix it very well until it dissolves. Okay. So once your solution is uh, clear, what you have to say? And that says once your cold solution is clear, you need to bottle it. So just get a bottle and make sure you label because you're going to be using this going forward. So just add it into your bottle and make sure you label it. This is to to reduce the pH of your skincare product. Okay, keep that in mind going forward. You will need this. Okay, going forward. and bottle it no need to store this in the fridge or anything it's cold to the touch no problem you can even open it for certain you know period then when handling your sodium 
now we have the light solution here this is the 10 percent lye and 90 percent water allow it to cool very well okay before bottling it and be careful do not allow it to touch your hand so bottle that also be careful sodium hydroxide is very corrosive if it gets into your skin it's going to burn so do not touch it with bare hand do not let it come near you it's the most corrosive of those two chemicals so now that we're done with this i'm just going to show them to you so light percent 10 percent light and 90 percent water this is to increase the ph of your skincare product 50 percent uh, citric acid and 50 percent water and 50% water is to reduce the pH of your skincare product. Is to reduce the pH of your skincare product. So keep keep in mind going forward, this is exactly what you need as a cosmetic formulator. The these two are the good natural substitute for try ethanol hermine. Okay, if you do not want to use this synthetic pH adjuster okay we let it go then you prepare 10 percent light solution just like I did before a 50 percent citric acid solution this is to reduce the pH of your skincare product this is to increase the pH of your skincare product if you want to learn how to increase the pH or reduce the pH look in the description box below I have a video an extensive video on how to do that is already uh, is available on this channel so keep that in mind i hope this video is straightforward you know i hope you can you know you will continue to enjoy this natural ph adjuster they are very very efficient uh some of you ask me will this affect my product if i had it no because when you are just on ph you will use uh, a disposable pipette okay to take them one at a time so if you want to increase the ph of your lotion for instance depending on the size you are working on okay uh we usually work on smaller sizes like 100 gram 200 grams so just use a disposable pipette to take maybe three drops at a time five drops at a time then check the ph mix it uh, see if it changes and uh make sure you recall your findings so going forward you know how many drops to use how many you know amount to use when you are adjusting your ph so that's the only difference when we are using this one to adjust the ph of our skincare if you have any question about this uh, natural uh, ph adjusters feel free to drop a comment in the comment box below if you want to learn more about organic organic uh, cosmetic formulation this is a channel for you so click that subscribe button click the notification icon to be notified when i upload new videos also uh if you're an experienced formulator or you have some experience formulating you want to take your formulation level to another in um, formulation scale to another level you can you want i invite you to come and formulate with me at naturalskincareschool.com this is where i train upcoming um new uh, formulators how to formulate different type of skincare products that are natural and non-toxic thank you so much for watching i'll see you in another video